All right, you guys, so today we're gonna tap. Now, if you've never tapped before, this is so easy, but it's so effective on changing your story and changing the flow of energy in your body about your debt and about your finances. Tapping is also known as EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. So all you need is a water. I want you to make sure you have some water. You're gonna take a couple sips before, and then you're gonna follow these steps. You're just going to repeat after me and tap with both of your hands on the places that I tap. So you're literally just following along, okay? Tapping is like acupuncture, but without the needles. So we're opening up the blocked energy flows and we're working to create good energy in the area of our body where we may have been blocked about our finances or debt. It's not gonna take that long. And tapping sometimes, actually, I'd say more often than not, needs to be done often. <laughs> so it's not like you're going to tap one time and you're going to be like, that's it. I'm free of my beliefs about debt and about money. Um, it's meant to be done often. So I actually tap every single day and I do like tapping about money because that's one of my biggest blockers in my life. Um, but for this 30 days, if you could do this tapping every single day for 30 days, you're just going to benefit yourself. You're going to move faster through your debt payoff. So the tapping points are top of the head, right above the eyebrows, next to the eyes, under the eyes, under the nose, under the mouth, like right on the chin, right um, on your chest, right on your side, like where your bra strap would be, okay? And then your wrists, super easy. I'm gonna start, you just repeat after me. Okay, big sip of water. Are you ready? <clears throat> I'm ready to be completely debt free and to have a sense of ease about my finances. I don't want to be afraid to check my bank balances. I just want my financial story to be one of happiness and joy. I want to be able to go on vacations probably like Turks and Caicos. <laughs> I'd love to be able to buy a house with cash. Probably right on the ocean. And I'm okay at making money. I can make enough to cover my bills. You know, enough to cover our food and the roof over our head. And don't get me wrong, I am deeply grateful for this money because I know that if I'm not grateful, I'm never going to have more. <laughs> However, along the road of life, I've accumulated some debt, like vacations and school loans, and maybe some killer cute shoes at Nordstrom's, or maybe even some tires, or a car repair that I didn't even want to spend money on. But because we didn't have the money, I charged those fuckers. And the debt started to accumulate But my debt didn't accumulate all at once. It was a slow trickle. That now feels like the great deep sea. And any day it feels as if the sea will just swallow me whole. And I just want my finances to feel like I'm floating. And not like I'm desperately trying to swim away from a shark attack. I'm ready for making money to feel easy. I'm ready to feel good when I open my bank account. And know that there's always enough money. <clears throat> I want to be able to pay down my debt quickly. 
and be motivated to keep going. I would love not to feel stressed about money. And if I could close my eyes, I can see a big fat zero on all my debt balances and money flowing into my bank account daily and a giant smile across my face knowing that I made this happen. Knowing that I did it. Not anybody else. I did it on my own. Because I'm fucking powerful. And because I took responsibility for the stories in my head. That were keeping me small. Because I have a lot of stories about money. I have stories like, we'll never have enough. That making money isn't easy. That even if I do make enough, something will always come up. And that we can never get ahead. And even if I did make extra money, I wouldn't be responsible with it. And haven't I proven that story many, many times? Why have I not learned my lesson? Is it because I believe I'm not worthy of making money? Like money is just something for other people? And my story in life is just to scrape by? Just to survive? And there's a lot of great reasons to do this. First, I don't have to try. I don't have to work hard to upgrade my life. And sure, yeah, it could be amazing. But it just sounds so hard. And I'm afraid that if I did have a bunch of money, more bills and debt would just come up anyway. And that if I did take all this extra money, and pay down my debts, I'd be left with nothing to have fun with. Because all of my money went towards my debt. And the point is, I have so many reasons for not paying down my debts. For staying exactly where I am. For being comfortable even though it's not truly comfortable. For being safe, even though it's not that safe. And before I change my, my, my story about money, I want to address this, be this belief that to pay down debt, you have to stop having fun. So let's just let that shit go right now because that's actual bullshit and you don't have to suffer to pay down debt. And when your bank account is overflowing, you always have more than enough to have fun and be financially free. So I have some beliefs and I'm ready to let them go. So no matter where these beliefs came from, no matter who told me, no matter how well intentioned they were, on this day, I'm letting them go. And visualizing like 
a big giant red balloon attached to a string that I'm holding that I'm slowly loosening my grip on. Like maybe an inch at a time. And every day this balloon flows farther and farther away from me. And this balloon is full of all my old beliefs. Reasons why I can't pay down my debt. Reasons why I can't make a fuck ton of money. Why I can't feel good or worthy. Why I can't feel good about my bank balance. And when I feel like my emotions around this have shifted, and when I feel like it's safe to have money, it's just easy. And it's okay for me to have these beliefs. But I know that I get to choose what I believe in. So I wanna choose something really healthy. I want to remember that it's easy for me to pay down debt. That it's easy for me to make money. That I don't have to be perfect to be worthy of what I want. Because there are many imperfect people with zero debt. And they don't have any issues about feeling worthy. So why do I? Maybe it's time to start to believe that when I'm really happy and when I'm feeling whole, money flows easily to me. It just shows up. Opportunities just show up. And I have great ideas. And I get to be the best parent and the best friend and the best partner possible. And it's great for me to live debt free. Think of all the fun things that I'm going to do with my money when I have no debt. So even though I have these beliefs, that I can't have what I want and I'm not worthy of what I want, I'm starting not to really believe them anymore. And maybe I've already let that balloon go. But in case I haven't, I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself for any money story or any worth story that has prevented me from living life full out. I appreciate it for what it was. I love the lessons that I've learned but I'm ready for a new story. And I'm creating that here today because I know I'm worth it. And so it is. Now take a big, deep in breath, breath in. <laughs> Hold it at the top <sighs> and just let that shit go. Grab your water. Make sure you hydrate and go have the best freaking day. I love you guys.